Hey, Jake, we're back here, 90 ball cards. So today we've got some packs. That's actually one of the products that I really started collecting with and one of my favorite products as a kid. So a lot of nostalgia for me, as I'm sure is true for a lot of folks. So let's get right into it and see what we can get. Today we have 9697 Collector's Choice. So, like I said, this was one of the foundations of my collection as a kid. I really enjoyed the Collector's Choice set. I liked some of the cool pictures that they had on some of the cards, as well as a lot of the subsets. I love the mini cards, which we'll get into. Uh, I also really love the rookie photo shoot uh, pictures that they had for a lot of the rookies. That's something I gravitated towards. Just overall, it's a, it was a great introductory set for me. I learned a lot about the players. Uh, so this is something that holds a dear spot in my heart. So, uh, you know, 96, 97, they had packs that have Jordan on the front. They also have packs that have Penny on the front. They have a bunch of different international uh, multi-language cards. Usually with international packs, you can tell because on the front, they will say, you know, uh, what the language is that they're in. So. Uh, the reason why I mention that is because the cards are different uh, when you go on the flip side and some collectors want to collect each version of the language. So you know, there's a ton of versions of these packs, a ton of different versions uh, with different pictures. So uh, a lot to disseminate between. And when I was a kid, I didn't really care. I just wanted to get as many cards as I could and hopefully I'd pull my best, my favorite players. So uh, a lot of fun. This is something I've been looking forward to opening with you and, and talking through. So let's get in and look at some of the fire that we could pull. All right, so here we've got some of the fire that's in my PC. Uh, not a lot of rare items here, but we'll go through and talk through some of the fun stuff in each of them. So starting here with the stickums. So these were one in three packs. We got a Penny Hardaway here, and these are just what they sound like. They're stickers. Uh, so you got the sticker of the player, uh, you got the name, and then you've got three different terms or, or phrases. Um, and then you've also got the, the little logo that can also be stuck to a base card, which are on uh, in different packs. So here I can show you guys. Here's one of the stick'em cards that I put to the base. So they do have individual bases for each player and you don't know who the player is, so this is just an outline in white of where the player's picture would go, and then it just says Magic Guard or, or whoever the team and the uh, position is that they play. So, interesting thing with these, sometimes they can be hard to find for certain players because if people are listing them for sale, they might not know which player it is it's because if you don't have the matching picture of the sticker, then you might not know who that player outline could be. So. Uh, sometimes can be hard to find certain players. Sometimes you can get certain players like the Jordan being the most valuable in the set for a little bit cheaper than a typical Jordan would go for. Uh, definitely cool cards. I, I enjoy having fun with these and actually one of my goals in my collection is I want to have an entire set of the stickers on the bases. Uh, so I know a lot of people look at it as ruining the value of the card, uh, but these cards aren't terribly valuable to begin with. So I always say, uh, you know, collect what you like, enjoy what you collect. And this is how I enjoy these cards best. So kind of something fun. You can kind of put the pictures wherever you want. All right. So here we've got a mini card. So this is the most valuable and most sought after mini card in the entire set. So mini cards are one per pack. So we should see one in every single pack we open here. Uh, so we've got Jordan, Penny, and Kemp. And this was a fun card for me growing up because me being a Penny collector, my brother being a Jordan collector, we fought over this card until we got multiple in our collection because there are a lot of cards in the mini card set. So regardless of how many packs we opened, it never seemed like we got a second copy of this uh, until one day we did and then we were both satisfied. But this card, again, it's the most valuable of the bunch. It's still not a terribly valuable card. You're looking at about $5. Uh, and with it being a mini card, you've got the perforated edges in there. So one of the things that you want to look for is making sure that this card is solid and it hasn't been bent on the perforations and uh, hasn't been separated at all. Because sometimes I have seen pictures of people trying to sell them. They put them back in a case, put it all together. Well, it looks like a solid card. Uh, but if you look closely, you can tell it's been separated. So. Uh, that's a bummer when, when you find that. These are also tricky to look up. Uh, I remember when I was a kid looking at the back, I could never tell because each card, individual card has its own number. So what ended up 
happening in the Beckett is the card that's furthest to the left on the back, that number is the card number for all three. So if you're looking it up in a Beckett, that's how to uh, look for the card number. Then the next step up from there is the gold version. So the gold version are one in 35 packs. We have here the Jordan, Penny, and Kemp. And then we also have another one just to show you something a little bit different. One with Scottie Pippen, Jamal Mashburn, and Vin Baker. So like I said, once my brother and I got the Jordan, uh, we each got our own copy of the Jordan, uh, Penny, and Kemp. The next thing that we ended up getting was a gold, and then we each had to have our own version of that, and we fought over that for a while. So, um, you know, those are pretty hard to pull, uh, especially if you're looking at getting this one, just getting any one. There is also one that has Kobe in his rookie year. He's on there with Kevin Garnett. Um, so that one's also pretty sought after. And then there's another one that's got Joe Smith. It's got Shaq, and it's also got Iverson in his rookie year. So those are the three most sought after cards in the set. Uh, the Jordan, Penny, and the Kemp again being the most uh, sought after. And this card sells for about $10. Not a terribly valuable card. Sometimes you can find it for a little bit less. Um, but definitely a cool card in my opinion because these were three of the best guys in, uh, in that season. So a lot of fun, a lot of memories there. Then uh, we go here with the Crash the Game Silver. So Crash the Game cards are one in five packs. Uh, you know, nothing too special here. These were a little bit of a contest. So if you look on the back, it's got all the contest rules. And basically if your player uh, right, reached whatever the goal was that was set on the card, you could send it in and get it redeemed. So here we've got an example of a redemption card. So you can tell, uh, you, so this isn't the same redemption card for the one that we have here, but uh, usually they were the same picture or something similar and uh, it just got foil on it. So you would get a set and you'd get that, that foil card. So these are pretty cool. Uh, not a ton of value on these cards. Again, for the penny, you're looking at probably a dollar for the base silver. And then when you're looking at the, the foil one, you know, anywhere from one to $5 is probably what you can look to pay for, for those when you can find them. They can be a little bit hard to find, but they aren't terribly uh, sought after at this point in time. Maybe that'll change in the future. Who knows? Uh, but then the next step up is the Crash the Game Gold. So these in these packs are one in 49 packs. So uh, you can see the, the only difference there is silver versus gold. But if you won on a gold card, then you send it in and you get the same redemption card, but with gold on it. So those are definitely a little bit more sought after. Uh, you know, the gold cards sometimes go unrecognized. And in which case, you know, people just go ahead and uh, sell it for the same price that they would sell the base for. So. Uh, you know, these can be gotten for, for relatively cheap and uh, definitely fun to add to your PC for a player. And then the last thing we have here are the uh, Jordan Journal Holograms. These are one in five packs. Uh, these are in international packs. So um, these are listed as odds on the, uh, on the pack here, but not sure if we have international packs. So, uh, you know, like I said, we'll, we'll find out. These are holograms, uh, you know, not the most valuable cards in the world, kind of neat, you know, I know I am a fan of holograms as many other people are. Uh, these can be a little bit difficult to catch in the light to get that picture, but uh, always fun to get a Jordan set, you know, one in five packs, pretty good odds that we will see one or two of these. And these are always, uh, you know, nice cards for a Jordan collector and any Jordan PC. So that's what we can get. Let's hope we get some of this fire. All right, we've got 12 packs, 10 cards per pack, and let's get right in. All right, so there's our mini card, nothing special on that one. Bob Sura, got Lindsey Hunter, got Brooks Thompson, who's that, J.R. Reed, Chuck Person, or Puck Cherson. Aaron McKee, there's a Bulls card of Luke Longley. Nice, I love these. It's a penny, that's a separate subset that I love. And then we've got the NBA Fundamentals for the Lakers with Nick Van Exel, another subset there. I never noticed the uh, squiggly on the, the shorts that they added, you know? You know, just make, gotta just jazz make, it up a little Yeah, bit. make them look good, man. All right, we got Jalen Rose, Chris Weber, and Jimmy King. So, you know, you got a little Michigan love going on there. Fab Five, baby. All right, we got Cherokee Parks. We got Lef Dale Ellis, Anthony Mason. The Mace. A little sticking. Yeah. We got Pooh Richardson on the back. No one cares. Uh, Tim Legler. I believe that's going to be our second Tim Legler of the pack. 
We got Jerry Stackhouse with it looks like another one of the Bulls cards stuck. That's gonna be Pip. Oh, no, they have Jordan one. Pip's on the back. You get your fundamentals. And yeah, look at that, another Timmy Legos. Tim Legs. Fundamental Sean Kemp. Um, you're not gonna pull the Tim Legos? I mean, he's a famous analyst now. Very famous. He's a three-point champion. Facts. And I'm assuming those are collectibles. All right. Stacy Ogman. It's a mini card. We're not going through all the players. Uh, Ronnie Cycling. Well, that's your UNLV one, though. Yes. It's got Grandma Monte Greg Anthony on it. Okay, thank you. Steve Kerr, the famous coach. Ricky Pierce. Derek Coleman. We got Harvey Grant, Horace's twin brother. Vincent Askew. We got a fundamentals of Clyde the Glide. I think this is the same, yep, same Bulls one that we got before. And Jeff Hornacek. That might be the single worst picture I've ever seen on a player's card in my life. Yeah, this is a pretty bad one. And I love Jeff Hornacek. You do. You do have an abnormal love for Jeff Hornacek. He was a good player, man. He was an underappreciated player. That was a big part of those Jazz teams. He was good. There you go. You got Mike. Hey, yeah. there we go. That's what I want to see. That's the fire that we need. Oh, is that a goal across the game? Yes, dude. Yes. Uh, Not necessarily the player that we want. Hey, and the Jordan. Dude, you got a stack pack there. All right, so there's the gold. One in 49 Mark packs. Bryant, here's your Jordan. One in five packs. Pretty sure this is one of the ones you already showed off to. And we got a silver across the game, Scotty. Dude. There you go. Killing and it. we got a stick them. Dude. <laughs> Um, and a Greg Anthony. All right, trying to beat that pack. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not. You got basically one of everything other than a gold mini card. <laughs> so you can just open the rest of these. All right, I'll go next. Yeah. Jeez, wow, good work. Good work out of you. I don't think I've ever seen a pack like that. All right, mini card there with Tom Googs, Tony Kukoc, Jimmy Jackson. Got a little Jordan fire, but what's behind Jim Jackson? Sam Mitchell, another Jordan Man. journal. Damage in the top right corner. Don't don't tell me bad news. Huh. Antoine Carr. Right down a little bit. Greg Anthony. We got the Raptors fundamentals with Oliver Miller. We got a stickums that stuck. Ooh, Jordan and damaged. Oh. Bummer. Big Good bummer. one, but damaged. And a fantastic picture of Arvita Sabonis. Did you get for being a 35 year old rookie? <laughs> Rocking those sweet Concords. Popeye Jones, Chris Morrison. That's probably the worst trip, trip card you can get. Matt Geiger, Mookie Blaylock, Sherman Douglas. We got Sean Roberts, Oliver Miller, Jeff Hornacek. Fundamentals for the Suns. We've got another of the same Bulls one. No, nope, it's a different one. Oh, Brian Grant, and then... Checklist or something. Collector's Club. You know what I want to look at? Are these international? No, I don't think so. All right, another uh, card with some future coaches. Dale Ellis, we've got Bobby Phils, Mark Jackson, Donald Royal, one of my faves. The Magic, Calvert Cheney, Vinny Del Negro. There's a Shaq Fundamentals, love it. There we go with another Penny subset, love that, and another Calvert Cheney. We're not getting like any star base cards. Sorry my, you know, four insert pack wasn't good enough for you. Oh, yeah, well, I want, I want some Jordan. Rex Walters, Jeff Hornacek, Mookie Blaylock. All your mini faves. Card. Lafonso Ellis. All right, there's the dream. Okay. All right. Piatowski. There. There's Johnny Starks. Put the star here. Another Greg Anthony. Your boy, Brian Grant. We got Fundamentals for the, with the Admiral. Another Fundamentals with, what was that? D. D. Brown and then Jerry Stackhouse. All right, the all Duke mini card, Bobby Hurley, Christian Leitner, and Grant Hill. We got Glenn Rice, Cherokee Parks. There we go with a Kevin Garnett. I love that picture. That's a fun one. Rick Smits. We got not Scotty Pippen, 
A Silver Crash the Game of Glenn Rice. Another Penny subset. Love it. We got two stickums in this pack. We got a Grant Hill in good shape and a Joe Smith in good shape. Why why couldn't the Jordan have been in good shape? Because you hate yourself. <laughs> well, Purdue. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joe Dumars, Clyde Drexler, AC, AC Green. Not terrible. Not terrible. All right, Rick Fox, Dana Barros. Don't Sasha. Know. It's Sasha. Yes. Love that picture on the back of D3. Yeah, right. Dennis Scott, Vincent Askew. We got Sean Wright. There, use your more penny subset and Vinny Del Negro. We get a lot of Vinny Del. All right, two packs left. All right, another Fab Five mini card. Tony Dumas. We got Joe Smith, Brian Shaw with the Magic, Percy Hawkins, Corliss Williamson. The checklist with that KG on it. Also another one I loved. Let's see the bowls. We got. Kerr on the back and Longley on the front. And Grant Hill Fundamentals. All right. Last pack. Let's duplicate that other fire. Let's pack just get here. a gold mini card. Okay. I'm good with that. Yeah. All right. We are going to start off with Nick Van Axel, John Starks, and Sammy Cassell. We got Christian Leitner, Glenn Rice, Cedric Savalas, Nick Anderson, Vinny Dell. You got J Kid, you crash the game. Fundamentals with Rick Smith. Damage Mookie Blaylock, stick him. And a Vincent Eskew. All right. All right. So you saw what we got. We did really well, uh, you know, based on what the odds say and, and everything. We, we beat the odds. Uh, I couldn't ask for much more. Getting a bunch of the Penny subset cards, getting the another copy of the uh, Jordan Kemp in MJ. I mean, this brings back all the feels from being younger, getting a couple of. Nice holograms, uh, getting the stickums. A little bit of a bummer that we got the damage on the Jordan one. Uh, I do love that with him wearing those sweet Concords, which I have a pair of, which we talked about for Christmas. So, uh, and I love pulling that Crash the Game Gold. I have never pulled one of these in a pack, so seeing that um, was pretty cool. So, you know, this is a trip down memory lane for, for me. Hopefully it is for you as well. Uh, and maybe this might be a new product that you can uh, grow to love. We didn't get any real stars on the base cards, which was kind of interesting. No rookies. These are all Series 1 cards. So maybe next time I do have some more packs. Uh, maybe next time we'll get some of those rookies, some of that Kobe Fire and Iverson and some pennies and all that kind of stuff. So that's what we did. A lot of fun for me. So what I want to talk about today is with all-star weekend right around the corner i know that there are some changes to the all-star game the way that they're doing it uh and some of the other skills challenges that are happening you know three-point contest comes to mind specifically so i'm not going to go through all those changes because we could be here all day talking about those uh but the question of the day for you is what do you think about the changes to the all-star weekend format both the all-star game that's going to be happening as well as the skills challenges so down in the comments let's have that conversation so let me know what you think about those changes um, you know, some of them I'm a fan of, some of them I'm not as much of a fan of, and I know that they always try to do things to kind of spice it up and make it fun. So let me know down in the comments what you think about the changes to the All-Star Weekend. If you aren't aware of the changes, go take a look. You can easily find that, and then we can chat about it in the comments. Or maybe you can just say, hey, I'm not sure, and we can talk about it there. So uh, that's the question of the day. As always, thanks for watching this video and taking this trip down memory lane with me and sharing this great passion, this hobby. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any videos in the future. New videos like this will drop on Wednesday. Any bonus content will drop on Friday. And if you're interested in some merch for the channel, I don't have any on today, but hit that link down in the description. You can go right to that merch shop. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, all kinds of stuff, backpacks, coffee mugs, you name it, it's probably in there. So take a look, see what you like, uh, and help the channel grow and spread the news about this great content. So. Thanks, we'll talk later.